Hello everybody, it's James here from the Sawyer Family Reviews channel. Today is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. This is the weekly comic book pickups video. Every week, I buy comic books, I get them for myself, I get them for my kids, I get them at Queen City Comics in Fairfield, Ohio, zip code 45014. If you're in the area and into comic books, check out the comic shop. While you're over there, go to the toy department. Let's jump in. Uh, there's a couple of um, a couple of new things in here. And a couple of old things. And something off my shelves. First of all, this. This is the first time I picked up a comic shop news in, like, forever. But look at this Batman 89 ad. Woohoo! That is sweet. And on the back, it's talking about travel back in time with Superman 78 and Batman 89. I am going to travel back in time with Superman 78 and Batman 89. So that's cool. Uh, let's see what's in here. Some new, old stuff. I grabbed the last Phantom annual number one. I didn't open any of these. I'm going to burp. Is that okay? <laughs> Oop. Um, I didn't open any of these yet. So this is the Dynamite last Phantom annual. There was, I think, 12 issues of the last Phantom and then one annual. I didn't have the annual. Uh, and then I grabbed some of those King... King Dynamite King things. King Dynamite. King. King Dynamite. I grabbed King's Quest 1 through 5. Flash Gordon, Phantom Mandrake, Prince Valiant. I didn't open any of these yet. So I'm just kind of catch up on anything I might have missed that involves Phantom slash Defender of the Earth characters. Okay. Here's another old one. I grabbed this for Gracie. Rocco's Modern Life, number 4. She asked me for Spider-Man or Minecraft, and uh, I've gotten, I got so many Spider-Mans lately for, I was like, you know what, I'm going to try something different again. I didn't, I couldn't find anything in Minecraft, but I was, she was watching Courage the Cowardly Dog, and I said, you ever watch Rocco's Modern Life? So she said, I'll watch that. So I figured once she watches it, she'll probably want one of these comics. This was done by, what, Kaboom? Kaboom? And it was $3.99 when it came out, 2018. We'll see how it goes. We'll give it a whirl. Uh, this is one of the new books today. I grabbed these for the boys. I don't know if I, if I read anything past the first one or not. I don't think I did. But I know they are, and I can just read theirs. So this is Transformers Back to the Future crossover, three ninety nine from IDW, issue 3. The first one was really good. It's kind of a what-if tale that kind of crosses over between the Back to the Future story and Transformers. And the whole world changes... And it's kind of like a, the, the whole thing is a vehicle, no pun intended, for the Transformers Back to the Future toy crossover being Gigawatt, the transforming Back to the Future DeLorean. I, I'm not as invested in this as I was the Ghostbusters Transformers crossover. I think that this was good. The first one was really good. It was fun. I don't know. It just it seems like a, a tougher crossover to accept for me. I don't know. But it's good. I'm not saying it's bad or anything like that. I'm just not as jazzed as I was for Transformers Ghostbusters. And then the last new book today is the Transformers... I'm sorry, Transformers. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Last Ronin Director's Cut of Issue 1. This is $11. Jumping Jiminy Christmas. Uh, but it's got the, the Last Ronin issue. I'm trying not to be spoilery, so I'm kind of kind of still, still trying to carefully not show you which turtle is the Last Ronin because I don't want to ruin it. Um, and I may have ruined it flipping through there, but there, it's a director's cut, so there's extra stuff, like breakdowns and stuff inside here, interview stuff, um, so if for some reason you've missed out on Last Ronin, here's your way to catch up and get sort of a special version, and that was ten ninety nine. Now, for the thing off my shelves, I may have shown this before, I hope I haven't, but I may have pulled this off the shelves before. This book is one of my favorite books of all time. The Celebrated Cases of Dick Tracy. This came out real close to when the movie hit, uh, this version of it. I think it hit him out before, and I think they just did this this version um, back then. This one's this one's got a name in it, Buck Jenkins. This is Buck Jenkins signed this one for me. Uh, my original copy is at my parents' house still. So I bought another one because they're so cheap just to keep on the shelves here at my house. Um... I loved this book so much as a kid because it has everything you want for Dick Tracy. It's got, like, every every villain you'd want the full story on, it's got him in here. You got Blank, Little Face Finny, The Mole, BB Eyes, 
88 keys, flat top. And so it's got the entire story reprinted in here of each of these famous meetups for Dick Tracy. Um, I used to love, you know, snow days. I'd stay in and read this book or sick days. I would read this book. It, man, just love, love, love this book. Celebrated Cases of Dick Tracy. If you don't have anything Dick Tracy stripwise, this is the book to get because you can get it super cheap. You can get used copies of this for like five bucks. It is so worth it. It's so much fun to read it. Um, I go back to it again and again and again. It's really top tier books for me. If, if I could take only like five hardcovers or collected editions with me to their deserted island, this would probably be one of them just because it's so much fun. Okay, so that is it for this week. Uh, let me know what you guys picked up, if anything. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the videos. Like, subscribe, notify, yada, yada, yada. See you guys next week.